Hey guys, it's Nora from My Therapist Says. Thanks for tuning in for our third and final tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how we use Adobe Stock for our website. All right, so we have our website open to one of our articles that one of our amazing writers wrote. This one is called Why You Should Be Your Own BFF. This article is all about self-love and appreciation. Now you can see that this article only has text right now. So clearly we need some images to make it more fun and attention grabbing and to pretty much show to people what this article is about in graphic form. Now, what better way than to use Adobe Stock because it's super easy and it has all the images that we could possibly be looking for. Second step after, you know, logging in and opening the article that you're working on would be going to stock.adobe.com. Once you've logged in, we're going to search, and this is super easy, we're going to search for self-care. And that's one of the main reasons why I love Adobe Stock because I don't have to, you know, look for specific words. I can literally search what I need, self-love, self-care and they will have graphics on it and pictures and templates and icons pretty much anything you could need now for the sake of this video i have already picked some of the images that i will be using for our article so i'm going to re-download them just to show you how i did it i'm going to use a filter and select images once we're on images now I see a lovely blue picture that pops, is attention grabbing, and she's hugging herself. I feel like that might possibly work for our article, so I'm just gonna download it into our media library. While it loads, I go back to our My Therapist Says website. I load it into the library. And then I go back to the website. Now I'm back to Adobe Stock website. And I'm going to look for some more graphics to match the article. And I'm seeing a really, really cute picture that says love yourself with a cutout paper heart. I'm going to download it and I'm going to load it into our media library again. Now because I feel like this image matches the article really well and it pretty much summarizes what the article is about, I'm going to place that image into the article. And then I'm going to center it, resize it to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to do 800. And then I'm going to look for another image. I'm going to search for friends just because I feel like maybe there might be something that will work for the article. And there are tons of images on friends, people laughing, hugging standing by a wall together cheering but then again this article is about self-love and self-care and self-appreciation so maybe uh friends wouldn't be the right image you know what i mean so we're gonna go back and search for self-love our first search was for self-care now this one will be for self-love and there you go there are tons of images of people hugging themselves giving positive notes and vibes and I see another simple, cute picture that matches our first image, and it's called, Hey, You're Awesome. So I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to go back to our website and load the image into our media library again. I'm going to place it into our article, and I'm going to center it. I'm going to resize it to match the first image. I'm gonna resize the first image just to make sure it matches the second image. And then I'm gonna make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna post it. And there you go, why you should be your own BFF with lovely images to match the article content. You saw how easy and simple it was for us to use Adobe Stock for this. I hope you guys enjoyed our tutorial series. You could see how simple and easy it was to use Adobe Stock. We could use it in many different ways, from Instagram to website to print, so go out there and check it out.